Francis Heresy. Pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. Por las venas de Jesús corre sangre pagana. Dear brother, sister, Pope Francis says, pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. What are you going to do? Do you think that's right because the Pope said it? This is a serious blasphemy against the blood of Christ. It is also a serious heresy because it is said by the supreme authority of the Church, who is heard by a lot of people. The Pope is a human being like any of us. We cannot put into our heads that he is infallible in everything he says. What he has said is a heresy, a very serious sin. It is a phrase that only a satanic would say, or someone who despises Christ or who hates his mother. Let's look at the meaning of the word heresy according to the Church. A heresy is an affirmation, teaching, or doctrine that opposes directly and contradictorily the truth revealed by God and authentically interpreted as such by the Church. The Word of God has taught us about the sanctity of the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. What Pope Francis has said is a contradiction and an insult to the precious blood of Christ. Does the fact that Francis is Pope give him the right to desecrate the precious blood of Christ? Making this statement. Por las venas de Jesús corre sangre pagana. And look at this man's face and determination when he says, pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. Por las venas de Jesús corre sangre pagana. As if enjoying it, insulting Christ in a public manner, misusing his position as the head of the church. This man does not represent our beloved Catholic Church. He is a publicly declared enemy of Christ. He defames the precious blood of Jesus and dishonors millions of Catholics who adore that precious blood. But many of them applaud him and look for ways to accommodate that phrase to their conscience, not realizing that they are also defiling the precious blood of Christ. The sarcastic and evil of this heresy is that he doesn't say pagan blood run in past tense. Por las venas de Jesús corre sangre pagana. He is affirming that in present tense pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. So he is insulting the living blood of Christ, together with the divine spirit without any fear of God, urging all who listen to trample the precious blood of Christ, and that we think like him. St. Peter in his first letter in the book 1, verses from 18 to 19, tells us, You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without defect or blemish. The blood of Christ is precious. Nothing in creation has more value. The blood of Christ is the blood of the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And what makes it pure and holy is that it is the precious blood that comes from the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Immaculate Conception, the only woman in the entire human creation worthy to provide her pure and holy blood for the hypostatic union of God with man in Jesus Christ. Whoever tramples the precious blood of Christ is an enemy of God 
Because God the Father sent him as his word, that is spirit, to unite with that precious blood that gives life to all the souls that God has created. Jesus shed 28,430 drops of his precious blood, drop by drop, with a deepest stain in each drop, so that no human being would ever understand. Because the precious blood of Christ is the expression of divine love for us, which cleanses our souls of sin. Pope Francis said, pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. Por las venas de Jesús corre sangre pagana. What are you going to do about it? What does an enemy of the blood of Christ deserve? As in the parable of the wicked tenants, Luke 20, verses 13 to 16. Then the owner of the vineyard said, What shall I do? Will I send my beloved son? Perhaps they will respect him. But when the tenants saw him, they discussed it among themselves and said, This is the heir. Let us kill him so that the inheritance may be ours. So they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What then will the owner of the vineyard do to them? He will come and destroy those tenants and give the vineyard to others. When they heard this, they said, Heaven forbid! Don't we realize that Francis has disrespected the precious blood of the Son of God? The Father sent his Son as the bread of life in the Holy Eucharist, so that his blood may cleanse the evil of our souls. But Pope Francis dares to say that the blood of the Son of God, the blood of the Son of Mary, is pagan blood. With such contempt, Surely, Pope Francis spits out the blood of Christ when he receives it unworthily in the Eucharist. And if he does not do it physically, he feels it in his heart. For he did it when he uttered this terrible heresy. Pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. Por las venas de Jesús corre sangre pagana. Pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. With what respect can Pope Francis approach God the Father, a man who feels repugnance for the precious blood of Christ, his divine Son? With what respect can he approach the Blessed Virgin Mary to speak? When in his interior he is thinking, You are fortunate, pagan woman. You supplied the blood for Jesus. What you did doesn't have any value through the veins of Christ should run all the blood and not pagan blood like yours. It is painful to think how the Blessed Virgin Mary feels before this heresy of Pope Francis. When we Catholics are not in communion with the Pope, we become schismatics. But when we are in communion with the heresy of a pope, we become coward accomplices of a man who does not deserve to be occupying the chair of Peter. In the history of the Church, there have been 42 false popes. Let us have discernment. And so will the Antichrist come, and he will speak very beautiful things but he will also speak against Jesus. And many will listen and obey him for fear of not being Catholics anymore. The Pope is the visible head of the Church, but with his heresies he is the head of another Church, not the head of the faithful magisterium of the Catholic Church. Pope Francis said, pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. But despite the pain that this heresy has caused millions of Catholics 
who adore the precious blood. The Pope has never corrected any of his heresies, and there are many, but today we are only talking about this one. The precious blood of the covenant that was shed for the forgiveness of our sins is the blood that will give us the white robes to take part in the wedding of the Lamb. Apocalypse 7 verses 14 to 15. I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship Him day and night within His temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. Through the veins of Christ does not run pagan blood, runs the life of all souls who will come into His kingdom. This is the blood that we will have those who are worthy to enter heaven, those with the blood of Christ, and not those who have any other blood, pagan blood. St. Francis of Sales, patron saint of journalists, said, The enemies of God and the Church must be attacked and censured with all possible force. Blessed be Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed be Jesus in the blessed sacrament of the Holy Eucharist and in the sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the most precious blood of Jesus, worthy of all praise and worship forever and ever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. If you like this video, Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like and please share this video with others. We have more publications in the work of God Apostolate. God bless you.